What's going on guys, Arrow here, and today I just want to talk to you guys about the Nintendo NX. Now many are speculating that the Nintendo NX is going to come out in 2016, which is something I really want to. I really hope that the system does launch this year. And I'm sort of just going to give you guys my top 5, like my top 5 things that I really want on this system. So let's get right into it. For number 5, I have a good launch lineup. And now... This isn't really that big of a deal, but I just hope that the NX has something, you know, some games that are worth buying the system for, you know. Like, when the Wii U came out, you know, the games were alright, there were some games, I mean, I'm pretty sure New Super Mario Bros. U was like the only game that, you know, kind of sold the system on launch day, because there weren't that many, like, good games that, you know, you were sort of, like, into buying the Wii U for, you know, you just kind of wanted to play the next new Mario game and that's kind of the main reason why a lot of people bought their Wii U's. Like let me just give you guys a look at some of the games that were launched on the Wii U. So here's some of the games that were launched when the Wii U came out and you can see like most of these games aren't that like exclusive to the Wii U other than you know Nintendo Land and New Super Mario Bros U. Uh, all of these other games you know I guess not Zombie U either but like all the other games you know are kind of old too you know they weren't that good, like, you know, Black Ops 2, and sure, like, you know, you could have just gotten those on your PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 at that time. So I hope the Nintendo NX has a really good launch lineup, you know, something that makes the NX worth buying. Like, you know, a lot of people are speculating that the new Zelda game is going to come out on the NX, and uh, also the Wii U. But, like, I hope, like, if uh, it comes out on the Wii U first and then it comes out on the NX, it better have, you know something worth making you buy the NX for Zelda, you know, like, if it's just the same thing with, you know, improved graphics and a few, a, a little bit of more features and stuff, you know, it's not a system seller, you know, so you have to have a good game, like, you know, like, if Smash Brothers and, uh, the Wii U came out on the same day, that would have been, like, selling easily, but, you know, obviously I know that's, you know, very hard to do, but just some, have a, have a good amount of games that are worth selling the NX, so that's my number five. My number four is free online services. And this is something Nintendo's, you know, always done and it's something really good. Like if you look at uh, Nintendo's like competitors right now, like their systems, you know, the PlayStation has PlayStation Plus, which is, you know, $50 for like a year membership. You know, Xbox has Xbox Live, which is $60 for a year. But Nintendo, you know, they always stay free. You know, they don't have like a subscribed, you know, online service. I didn't say their online services are good because they don't have that much to offer, but I'm just saying, you know, they should keep their internet free because that's what I really like about Nintendo systems. You know, I'm not wasting, like, as much money for uh, the same amount of money as a video game just to play online with my friends. So that's something I really like for Nintendo. I really hope they keep that with the NX. I really want free online. I don't want to start paying $60, you know, every year just to play, you know, with my friends. I hope that Nintendo keeps the online free. So that's my number four. Now I did say that number, uh, I did say that the online services aren't that good because for Nintendo, they, they don't really have that much to offer. You know, we have Miiverse right now and we have Wii U chat with our friends. But other than that, we don't have that much stuff. So for number three, I would love to have party chat. And, you know, party chat, you know, by that I mean, you know, just like have some friends and, you know, some friends on your system that you can just all get into a lobby and talk with while you're playing games like you know you should be able to play like different games like you know one friend's playing Mario the other one's playing Zelda but you should all be able to talk you know together and just you know all have like a good time and you know if you don't understand how important this is uh, let me give you an example of a, a popular game uh, let's talk about Splatoon Splatoon's a lot of fun right so Here's what you can do. Um, play a Splatoon game with eight of your friends. Just, you know, get into, just someone have, just have someone start the game and play, you know, like a Turf War or a Rainmaker one of, or Tower Control or something like that. Just play one of those with the, all of your friends. And then play the same game again, but have everybody in a Skype call or like, you know, have everyone in like a group chat um, over voice and then put a headset on and start playing Splatoon again you'll notice that it's so much more fun when you have um, party chat going on it's just it's so much fun because like you know when you like when you uh, kill someone or splat someone 
you know, you're like, oh man, why'd you have to get me? And you know, there's people yelling, it's like mayhem, it's a lot of fun, you know, and you can, you know, it's really good for teamwork too, you know, you could say like, oh, everybody get to the left, you know, the tower is going to come over here, and you know, party chat just makes the game a lot more interesting and fun, so I really hope they incorporate party chat into the NX. Uh, number two is backwards compatibility with the Wii U. I mean, I know a lot of people are still speculating whether, you know, Wii U games are going to be able to be played on the NX. That's something I really hope that uh, occurs because, you know, the Wii U has some good games. I mean, there's a few games that on my Wii U, <coughs> Smash Brothers, <coughs> Smash Brothers, that I would like to play on my NX. So I just hope that, you know, there's backwards compatibility. And now the number one thing that I want on the Nintendo NX is one controller. And by that I mean on whenever I'm playing my Wii U, there's so many different controller options I have and it kind of differs between what game I'm playing. I really hope the NX just keeps one controller that I can use for all my games. And just to give you an example, like when I'm playing, you know, Mario Kart 8, I'm using a Pro Controller. When I'm playing Mario U, I'm using a Wii Remote. When I'm playing Splatoon, I'm using a GamePad. There's just, you know, and there's more too. Like when I'm playing Smash Brothers, that's a GameCube controller. But I'll accept that because, you know, you can't play Smash without a GameCube controller. You kind of just want a GameCube controller when you're playing Smash. So I'm not going to count that. But just like all these controllers that you see here, you know, I really want just one controller for the NX that I can use to play all my games, you know. So that's something I really want. And so there you go, guys. Those are my top five, you know, things that I really would like on the NX. Um, I'm really curious to see what you guys would want on the NX. So definitely leave a comment down below on your top five or just some ideas that you have for what you would like on the NX. And I'll be sure to reply to you guys. And yeah, if you like what you're seeing on my channel, please subscribe and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,